So, yeah. All right. So, uh, if you don't mind, whatever you're comfortable with, it'd be as high level as you, you want. Um, okay, but, you know, so but there's a lot of creators out there that want to make a full-time living doing something like what you're doing. And I'm just curious if you'd be willing to share, you know, sources of income or, you know, the, how you're making a living doing what you're doing. Uh, okay. there's other people out there trying to do the same thing. All right. And this is a good question because this is actually something I'm even learning barely late into my career, how to move smarter about it. So when I started out, I used to just honestly rely on Google AdSense, which is the thing you get paid for from YouTube. And while that's fine, you got to understand that that is really not at all the only way to get paid. So um, I I would primarily get paid from AdSense. But I'm, while I'm now looking into for multiple streams, I've uh, looked to Amazon affiliates because I heard that's a pretty good thing. Where basically, if you're new to it, just give you a, a brief rundown. You can like list every single product. Like let's say I have like some blue light glasses, or I have my camera. You know, I can list that and link oh, link it in the description. And um, the people that click on it and buy your product, you'll get a commission. So Amazon affiliates is an example. Um, just the multiple channels. Like you know, I don't think I've spoken publicly about it, but I'm actually going to start grinding another channel where it's based on um you know how to like uh for youtube advice uh life advice i kind of already have one it's called the life of dawn but i have not been consistent enough on it uh hearing everybody on clubhouse like you know roberto blake and think media like all these people talk about <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you if you're if you're watching this how to is just such a great field because i, I look at it for longevity if you haven't heard this thing called cpm is how you get paid and uh, categories like that tend to pay more. That's why a uh, two socks, shout out to two socks. He's, he's doing his thing because, um, certain niches, uh, they have things like an older demographic or they have things like viewers that will want to watch longer. Cause that's the most important thing. There's this thing called vanity metrics. And not to say that these people with millions or whatever, aren't getting paid nicely. I, I don't know no one's pockets except my own, but, um, vanity metrics are in my opinion, being less and less relevant to me because the thing you should really care about as a creator is uh the behind the scenes which is some big things like the cpm and the uh, avd average view duration how long are people watching that's what youtube cares about so yeah. um things like that are why the how to like for why for two stocks the trillion is like it's it's certain things that can kill it so i'm just going to say that uh, i'm actually going to launch uh a, a consistent channel where i do that because you know it's it's good for longevity right so um even though I don't mind the main you know, entertainment thing, um, I do know it doesn't pay as much as some of these other niches. So me, uh, of course, in my interest, wanting to have a longevity here and make this, you know, um, good for a business, I'm going to go ahead now and um, put that into a, what Roberto Blake said, it's less sexy, but it's, you know, it's the stuff that really makes you have like a foundation here. So basically, just give you some things I gave you an example. Of, there's Amazon affiliates. There's uh, other YouTube channels. You shouldn't, when you start out, I think you should focus on one. But as you grow, you can go ahead and do multiple. Um, You get stream. There's a lot of ways to make money. The point being, which I'm still breaking out of, do not just rely on Google AdSense because I love YouTube. But for a lot of creators that do it, they can relate that sometimes it's like, they might not have a good month or sometimes YouTube might, you know, be acting up. So it's good to have those other streams because just like in real life, how you have stocks, real estate, these forms of investments, you also want to have multiple streams of income online. We live in such a great time. Where like you could do so many, like the podcasting is, they're killing it. You know, they're killing it. Like, are, are they like the most popular than they've ever been? Like, and um, it's just yeah, something it's grown crazy. I, uh, community. Yeah, I know uh, Chris Komitsas, he runs Podfest and oh, they they keep hitting the Guinness Book World Records for like yeah. these online events for his, his Podfest events. It's amazing. No, nah, they're, they're, I think I, I wager to say like it's never been this popular. It's, I always love conversation like that. So um, I just want to real quick say, you know, shout to, I mean, I said Joe Rogan, but um, uh, there's this one called Peer to Peer Podcast. Uh, Logan Paul's podcast is actually pretty good. I know. You know, he has his image, but his podcast is actually pretty insightful. So, yeah, it's like podcasting. We live in such a great time where, like, you can make so many, you know, streams of income just off your phone or um, through a computer. So, it's like, why not utilize it? Like, even TikTok, you're, you're gonna, how are you going to start rolling out a monetization system? So, um, there's a lot of ways. The point being, 
I don't think you should rely on AdSense. If you're starting out though, you, you would want to grow your channel to like, I'd say, uh, I'd say minimum ten thousand. But um, I've heard some of these small creators that are making this a full time living. I yeah. want people to kill the delusion or the idea. You need to get like even fifty k or hundred k subscribers to actually get paid adequately. It's going to depend on your niche. But the point is, you do not have to be the biggest creator to get paid adequately. Shout out to the finance community, the tech community. It's just a lot of communities um killing it. So I I hope that answered your question. But yeah, you don't have to run yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. And it also, you know, gave a good insight to, you know, some of the things you're focused on in the future with yeah. this uh, you know, another channel that you're gonna be creating about the how to's. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've got the credibility to be talking on that topic, yeah. having <laughs> grown almost half a million. So. Hope subscribers so. <laughs> on youtube <laughs> yes sir it's, it's called the life of dawn uh it's actually already um yeah like i said a channel but um i'm actually going to go ahead and hire an editor to uh delegate that because um not to get or i don't know if um you know that might be one of your questions coming up but youtube like i said earlier it's such a business and what i mean by that is you're going to learn we're we're limited you know we're not machines we can't edit a video here and then switch gears and edit another video there like a real business you, sh you should be trying to delegate a lot of the things that you're not particularly jazzed about. Like that might be the editing. That might be the uh, outreach. You want to delegate it to run the most efficient business. Mr. Beast is one of the key smartest businessmen for a reason. He's one of the most successful YouTubers for a reason. Because if you hear how he runs be the behind the scenes, he delegates anything that he's not too jazzed about. So for one, the whole YouTube thing is so fun for him. But for two, he doesn't suffer from the opportunity cost. He can still, he has like eight or nine channels from what I last heard. Like, and oh, wow. I have to be a fool to believe he does all that himself. Like, yeah, he's all, for sure. Mr. Beast is a team and that's how you should be eventually as a creator. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm barely learning about that too. Shout out to Clubhouse. I've learned so much, you know, through that. But um, yeah, like I'm building up my own team, if you want to call it for, you know, Don or the Mombalis.